Did you know the system has several useful keyboard shortcuts built in? They're stored in the user preferences table. And what's more, they're configurable. Check this out. I'm on a Mac and when I type Control Opt I, I get the impersonate window. For Windows users, that's Control Alt I. There's also Control Opt G for global search, Control Opt F for activating the navigation filter, Control Opt C for expanding and collapsing the navigator, Although in Next Experience, it shows the menu, and if we have it pinned, it unpins it. So uh, I guess that's helpful. And Control opt p for jumping into the main content section, which is useful for accessibility or if we want to quickly get to the form or list menu. So let's say we don't like the default shortcut for Impersonate, and we were raised to think Impersonate should be Control opt t instead. Well, first, we'll navigate to User Administration, User Preferences. Next. Search for the preferences starting with glide.ui.keyboard.shortcut. Now, just a quick lesson on user preferences. There are system user preferences which set the default for all users unless a user has a preference of the same name that overrides it. So if we see a preference like this that says system equals true and no username, we know it's a default. Given that information, we could easily tell that keyboard shortcuts are enabled for everyone by default. We can also see the default key for the impersonation is Control alt i Here's how to change it. Open the record and uncheck System. Put our name in the user field, then change our key from I to T. And most importantly, don't forget this. Use the form menu to do an insert. Do not, I repeat, do not choose Save or click the Update button, or we lose our system default. Not good. And even though I've said it, someone is probably going to do it. Probably me. There's only one more thing to do to make this work, and that's to log out and log in. Because unlike most system preferences, which take effect immediately, this one requires us to establish a new session for some reason. And after we're back in, Control opt t is our personal keyboard shortcut for the impersonate modal. The default is still Control opt i for everyone else because this is a user preference and not a system property. Now, just a few observations from working with this. Shift is not a valid modifier key, only Control, Alt, and Command. Although, I didn't have good luck working with Command or CMD, despite what the docs say. Also, watch out for existing key sequences. We may collide with an existing function like the undocumented Control alt a for the application picker in X experience, or we may end up minimizing your browser window instead of getting the impersonate modal. And finally, if we get a sequence wrong, like spelling alt incorrectly, our preference is ignored and it reverts to the system default. Feel free to do some experimentation or just use the shortcuts that come with the system. That's all for this time. Don't forget, if you've got a tip about the platform or an app or capability, share it with the world. And don't forget to use the hashtag ServiceNowDYK to be part of the community. I'll be back soon with another ServiceNowDYK. Thanks for watching.